Hello, and welcome to the United for Math series on multi-digit multiplication. In this series, we'll be using the standard algorithm to multiply multi-digit whole numbers. We will also be moving into evaluating errors in multiplication problems that have already been solved. In fourth grade, students used an area model to find the product of numbers. In fifth grade, we're using the standard algorithm. It's really important to note that in fifth grade, multiplication is the basis for so many standards. So, if students are struggling with their math facts, we should really be practicing our fact fluency and have great knowledge of place value before we can solve using the standard algorithm. In this lesson, we're gonna dive right into using the standard algorithm to solve multiplication problems using multi-digit whole numbers. Let's take a look. So here we have 42 times 19. It's written horizontally, so when we're using the standard algorithm, we need to write it vertically. So we'll write it like this, 42 times 19. This is where I'm gonna stop for a second because I want you to grab the colored pencils. It's just a trick I like to teach my students to use different colors when using the standard algorithm so we can see the different place values that are being used. Let's take a look. So when using the standard algorithm, we go step by step and place value by place value. So I'm gonna start with my ones place, my nine. So I circle my nine and we begin to multiply the nine by each number on top. So nine times two is 18. We carry the one and bring down the eight. Nine times four is 36 plus the one we carried is 37. Now I'm grabbing my next color to work with my tens place. But before I get to my tens place, I'm done with my ones. So I'm gonna cross out my ones place and then I'm going to cross out anything I carried from my ones place so I don't get confused. I like to say done with the ones. I'm happy about that. So I'm gonna put my zero placeholder here. I like to put that smiley face in the zero placeholder because when we're done with the ones in that place value, we're happy. But also, it helps students remember that that is a zero placeholder and not to get confused if we have another zero that may come from when we multiply the tens place by our next numbers. So let's look at how the rest of this plays out. Now let's multiply the tens place by each number up top. One times two is two. One times four is four. So now I have my two products here that I'm going to add together. 378 plus 420. 8 plus 0 is 8. 7 plus 2 is 9. And 3 plus 4 is 7. So remember, when we're done with the ones, we put our zero placeholder smiley face in there. Now we're going to move on to a three digit times a two digit number. Let's take a look at that. All right, here we have 356 times 87. This one's already set up for us vertically, which is nice. So we're gonna start with our ones place. We're gonna multiply seven by every number on top. Seven times six is 42. Seven times five is 35, plus that four we carried is 39. Seven times three is 21, plus the three we carried is 24. I also like to tell students to put that plus when we're carrying those numbers so we don't forget to add those values that are on top of the top number we're multiplying. Let's keep going. So I'm done with my ones place, so I'm gonna cross this out, cross out all the numbers that I've added, and I'm gonna grab my next color. So I'm done with the ones, we're happy about that, so we're gonna put our zero placeholder down here and now let's start multiplying our tens place by every number on top. So eight times six is 48. Eight times five is 40, plus four is 44. Eight times three is 24, plus four is 28. Now I can add my two products. Two plus zero is two, nine plus eight is 17. 4 plus 4 plus 1 is 9, 2 plus 8 is 10, and 2 
2 plus 1 is 3. So our final product is 30,972. So remember, when using the standard algorithm to solve multi-digit multiplication problems, we need to go step by step. It also helps to use that smiley face placeholder and put those addition signs next to those numbers that we've carried over. In our next lesson in this series, we'll be evaluating errors and multiplication problems that have already been solved. We look forward to seeing you then. Thank you for joining us.